So, here we go. Where do you want to start? Well, here's my suggestion. We have created what here? Four water molecules. Over here, we have created 14 water molecules. So just like the poem, water, water everywhere, um, we need to combine and come up with a net number of water molecules. So on this side of the equation, how many water molecules are there? Please be careful. On this side of the equation, there are eight here, five here, or seven here for a total of 15. Okay, because we, yeah, you got to multiply by two. So we have 15 waters so far. Over here, how many waters do we have? Eighteen. Okay, so we have four here plus another eight or fourteen there. That's a total of eighteen. So my net number of water molecules is three water molecule molecules on the pro or reactant side. Waters are theoretically. There's not, huh? We have 15 on this side. We have 18 on this side. Um, oh, our electrons are already done. Would you guys agree with that? That was the whole point of multiplying by two. Okay. Now it's just a matter of, well, is there anything else that shows up on both sides of the equations? The hydroxides, let's take care of that now. We have 14 hydroxides on this side of the reaction. We have eight on this side. So we have a net of six hydroxides on the product side. I like to get those two things out of the way as quickly as possible. Because now the rest of it just becomes move it down. Okay? So how many nitric oxides, NOs? Pardon? How many NOs? Two, very good. <laughs> How many nitrates? Two. How many dichromates? And how many chromium threes? And as I said earlier, you can't screw this up. <laughs> that is not intended to be a challenge. <laughs> all right, so what are we supposed to do now? Good, Kayla. Make sure all the atoms balance. Correct, good. Two chromium, two chromium. Uh, seven, eight, nine, 12 oxygens. Six here, six here, 12 oxygens. Two nitrogens, two nitrogens. Six hydrogens six hydrogens, all of the atoms are balanced. What's the last thing we have to make sure is balanced? The charge. We have a net charge of minus two here. We have a net charge of minus two here. Why is that? How many positive charges? Six. How many negative charges? Six. They cancel out. What do we have here? Minus two. So the charge 
cancels also. So that is really no different than balancing the acid ones, okay? The, the other than the fact that we have to add, add hydroxide to neutralize the hydrogen ions. And then the only other tricky part is we have to combine terms and come up with a net number of each of those species. It's almost always water and hydroxide ion that you have to do the net for. Would you like to try one on your own? No, it won't. It'll take two minutes. Yeah, okay, I'm kind of lying. Oh, no, that's right. Okay, here we go. You guys will enjoy this one. Set go.
can't go anywhere further until you get this part right. What is the oxidation state of this oxygen? Negative 2 Therefore, what are the oxidation states in each of the chlorines? Plus 7 each. What is the oxidation state of each of these oxygens? Minus 1 each. Awesome.
four of them, I had to fix their papers and make sure that they had all the charges written out correctly. Um, so anyway, there we go. What's the next thing I have to do? Balance the chlorine by putting A2 here. Then I have to balance the oxygen by adding, I'm sorry, what? How many? Two? Product side. Now I'm going to balance the hydrogen by adding, I'm sorry, what was that again? Six hydrogen ions. And since it is in basic solution, I am now going to add six hydroxides to both sides. And now I'm going to balance the charge by adding to the reactant side. Is everyone hunky-dory so far? Because there are six hydrogen ions. To neutralize those six hydrogen ions, I need six hydroxides. You don't know what that means, do you? But those are not six hydrogen ions. Okay. Hydrogen ion is and makes it an a is the acidic piece of this. All right. Oh, okay. Next. Wait, yes. Well, these yeah. cancel out. Yeah, not at the original right. There are six negative charges here. Two negative charges here. Yeah, uh, okay, I see what you're saying. The original oxidation or reduction piece. Yeah, don't look at just the charge. Okay. All right, so next, what oxidized? Well, it turns out the oxygen oxidized. It went from negative one to zero. So it became more positive. Didn't become positive, became more positive. All right, so. Uh, that I, most of you guys, are, any questions that were to come up have already were, were coming up in this. I've already addressed most of those. Um, oxygen's done. Hydrogens, what do we do? Add two hydrogen ions to this side to neutralize those two hydrogen ions. We need two hydroxide ions, which I will also add over here. Now we just have to balance the charge by adding. Yep. And then to equalize the electron transfer, the whole thing up. Now, again, I like to get rid of the waters and the high hydroxides that might appear on multiple places. Um, as you know, the electrons are gone. We don't have to worry about those. We already took care of that. How about waters? Here we have six over here we have three. Oh, okay, I see what you did. You did the whole thing. So on this entire side, I have six waters. On this side, I have, well, there are two, so there's eight here, so 11. So 11 here, six here, so a net of five waters on the product side. Waters are... Gandhi. Okay, hydroxides. On this side of the equation we have eight. On this side of the equation we have six for a net of two hydroxides on the reactant side. Um, now it's just a matter of 
putting everything else down. So we have Cl2O7. We have 4H2O2. We have two chlorite ions and four oxygen molecules. Because we have eight here and six over there. So our net number of hydroxides is two. Uh, well, let's find out. Why? Right, let's find out. So let's balance every. Make sure everything's balanced out. Two chlorines. Two chlorines. <laughs> We're left with oxygens and hydrogens. We have four. We're sorry about that. Eight hydrogens there, plus two for a total of ten. We have ten hydrogens here. We have eight oxygens, plus seven more for fifteen, plus two more for seventeen oxygens. Yes. We have five here. Four here for nine plus eight. Go back to third grade. Nine plus eight, seventeen. Okay, so do all the atoms balance? Okay, what about the charge? Net charge of? Minus two. Net charge of? Minus two. How many of you did that all on your own? Nice, nicely done. You can't screw it up. Why? <laughs> well, if you do screw it up, that means you didn't follow the plan. Well, <laughs> so you didn't follow the plan. All right. Um, that's it for redox. Next. Oh, yeah. Next. Um, let's look at the assignment.